Hey, hey, how's it going? Julie Bark here, coming to you live from my home office in Chicago. Let me, hold on, let me, ooh, sunny out there today. I don't know, hopefully my lighting is not that good, you guys. I should be taking it maybe that way. Anyways, hey, as you guys are popping in, let me know where you're tuning in from. How's it going? I'm just coming to you live real, real quick. I'm gonna be talking to you about an approach. Can you hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, good morning, Natalie. How was everyone's Christmas? I hope that everyone's Christmas was good. Um, I cannot believe the holidays like are over. <laughs> it's Christmas, so here's the thing. It is seven degrees in Chicago. You guys see that? Seven. And I'm going out with my boys to make returns today. Am I nuts? I think I'm nuts. It is so cold. Um. Anyways, yeah, so if you're tuning in, yeah, we're going to Disney, Natalie. We're, we're not going until uh, the first week of June. But yeah, we surprised the boys yesterday with a trip to Disney. So it's super exciting. Um, I have some... Um, trips coming up here in January, so this year is going to be crazy. I'm speaking at a, a company event in uh, two weeks, and then I was asked to speak on stage. How exciting! Um, I actually just launched with this new company a couple months ago, and then I fly out that weekend to speak at Kate McShay's event, and I'm doing a training there, and then like. Honestly, then February is a cruise, then we're going to Mexico, we're going to Italy, like we're going to Disney. You guys, this what is life is all about, right? So um, this is why I show up. This is why I show up and give you guys trainings and, and um, because I want everyone to experience this in life. I don't want to just go and travel the world by myself. I want all you guys to come with me. Okay, so I do have my kids home. And they love when I do Facebook Live, so you might see an appearance. Um, but I gotta keep this short. So honestly, all I wanted to do was pop in. If you're new to who I am, if you're new to Julie Burke, I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. I've been in network marketing now for five years. I am a trainer, I am a mentor, I, am, I teach other um, business owners and entrepreneurs how to build their own brand because I'm gonna tell you something. When you build your own personality brand, as I like to call it, you literally can be successful in pretty much anything. You know, I went from one income stream to creating four income streams in less than a year that all hit six figures. And it's because I built out my community on my fan page right here, the page we're all on. This is my fan page. I call it the passion page. I encourage everybody to move from a personal page to leverage a fan page. There's so much to do on a fan page. Um, I actually recently came out with a training um, called Fan Page Success Playbook, um, which was a, a real big hit. So keep your eyes peeled for that because that will be out soon. But anyways, um, so that's what I do. I teach people how to leverage, um, put a system together and how to automate some of their business, okay? So really quick, I wanted to just pop in because um, he, uh, Natalie said hi, Landon. Yeah, he just ran out. So yeah, if you are new to me, please drop me a one so I can personally give you a shout out, say hello, send you a free gift. And um, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, I'll be doing more of these trainings, um, especially coming up in the new year. If you are new to my fan page, you could go into the videos tab uh, when I'm done with this broadcast, and I've done, I think, about 260 Facebook Lives in this past year, so please feel free um, to go check any of those trainings out. I also have a YouTube channel, so you could um, go over there, but I like to keep everything on Facebook here. So, uh, hey, Tracy, what's up? Hey, Eva. Hi, Lori. Nice to meet you. Lori, where are you from? Let me know. Hey, Shannon. Nice to meet you, too. Um, yeah, so anyways, I wanted to just kind of pop in here. Yesterday, I had a team member reach out to me and was like, hey, Julie, so here's the deal. I have like 100 people I want to reach out to because right now our company has a promo. 
Um, we are a health and wellness company, but there's a lot of different products. Like it's a lot of different toxic free products, but one of the products obviously is, and I say obviously because this is why she wants to reach out to all these people is for weight loss. Okay. And it's a three step weight loss process. So she says, well, so what should be my approach? So we build, um, my team and I build strictly online. We don't do anything really offline. Um, meaning no home parties, no coffee shop meetings, none of that. We have systems set up so we could build online. But one of the greatest things that you could use to, if you, let's say you are building offline and you really want to bring your business online, where can you start? What can you do? Messenger. Messenger is one of the greatest tools that Facebook has that you want to utilize to start connecting with people. Okay. Um, so we use Messenger like on a daily basis. We also use little um, Facebook chat groups with our teams to help keep us connected and communicate. That's been super effective. So she says, I, w I have this list of 100 people. What should my approach be? How should I reach out? And I just simply said, hey, so what I have done and, and what I would do and what I have been successful with is really just taking them out of the picture. And I went on to explain, so one of the ways that I think people can kind of smell you coming from a mile away is if you just have this approach like, okay, so how is Christmas? And yeah, you do small talk. Hold on, someone's calling me. Got to figure out how to turn it off. Um, and then you're like, well, hey, so I have this product X, Y, and Z. If you're interested in it, let me know. We have this great promo going on. Okay. So coming at it from that angle is not really going to get, I guess, I, I don't know. I look at it, I put myself in the prospect's shoes and I say, ooh, if someone came at me from that, would I, would I necessarily respond? No, probably not. However, when you come at it from an approach of, yeah, you still want to be able to like say, hey, how was your Christmas? Okay. But then like there's a reason for your reach out, but take them out of the picture, meaning don't approach it from the angle of that you're hitting them up. You're coming at it from, hey, so listen, right now with my company to the end of the month, this is a promo we're having. If you know anybody that is looking for X, Y, and Z benefit, always talk benefits, screw the features, talk about benefits. Um, I would love for you, I would love to have you keep me in mind or if you want to forward me um, or connect us through Messenger, three-way message chat, let me know. So it's basically saying you're asking for for a referral and you're taking them out of the picture. So you're not necessarily saying, hey, do you want weight loss? Or, hey, do you need to lose weight? This is what I have for you. You're doing it more of, hey, so the new year is coming around. And I know everyone's resolution most of the time is to have more energy, feel better, and you know, have some healthy weight loss. Um, my company has this amazing product that does X, Y, and Z, benefit, benefit, benefit. If you know anybody that is looking, you know, for more energy, if you know anyone that is looking for healthy weight loss in the new year, please keep me in mind or please connect me to them. I'd love to help them out. Right now we have like a, a discount off of $200 off this product. So again, it's, that approach of you're asking them for the referral and then they're sitting there and they're like, well, uh, wait a second, I could use more energy. I want to feel better. Or you know what? If you're in a travel company and you have this promo for travel, they might say, listen, I'm looking for some travel. So again, it's coming at them from a different angle of, Hey, I'd love, I'd love for you to help me in this. If you know anyone that's looking, so they're not looking at it from, Oh, they're not trying to sell me on this. They're actually legitimately just asking for my help. And people love, listen, network, people love to network people together. Okay. Um, I will tell you so often when you come at it from like, uh, will you help me, like help me standpoint, they're more willing to help. So I said this to my teammate yesterday through messenger chat. I voice messaged it to her and I gave her the approach exactly how I would reach out to people. And we don't do a lot of the text. Like we would just grab our phone and be like, Hey Sue. So I saw your Christmas was amazing. I hope, you know, it was really good. Um, 
and you know just kind of like strike up that conversation have to respond and then do the whole hey so the meaning for my reach out actually was also to let you know that we have this promo going on with our company for this weight loss product it's a three-step process if you know anyone looking i would love for you to connect me so sue doesn't feel like you're sitting there saying hey you need to lose weight sue because <laughs> you know i mean like we're not assuming we never want to assume um, so anyways, she loved the approach. She loved the idea and she's already off like hitting her list of 100. And so I wanted to just share that with you guys. Okay. Yes. Before you go live, put your phone on airplane mode. Very Monica. Very good. I forget every single time to put it on airplane mode. So I'm always getting these messages and calls, but thank you. I will remember. I'm going to write myself a note. Um, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. Go do some reach outs. Um, you know, it's okay to small talk, but, um, and don't come at it necessarily with like an agenda of you're trying to get somebody to try your product or join your opportunity. Um, just come at it with, you know what? Um, I'm legitimately just asking somebody for their help. Take them out of the equation. When you take them out of the equation, they actually want to be put into the equation, believe it or not. Okay. So I hope that tip help. Um, go do some reach out, reach outs. Um, let me know what business you're in. I'd love to know what kind of business you're in too. Um, and if you found value in this and you thought it was a really simple approach, I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to share it with your team members as well. And um, again, if you are on my email list, make sure you keep your eyes peeled because I have some great things coming your way. If you are not on my email list and you want to be added to my email list, just write list in the comment section and I'll make sure to get you on my email list. I have a ton of freebies um, that I love to hand out to people and all different, I have freebies for cold market connections. I have social media, a freebie, a social media a recruiting guide. I have um, my branding guide that's coming out, my fan page checklist guide. So I have a lot of stuff coming out, you guys. Um, and I'm really looking forward to 2018 and helping you um, all crush it in your business. So I'll see you soon. And he, 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 you're awesome. Thanks, Monica. I love the messenger plan. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I'm actually taking my social media recruiter um, frenzy guide for those of you that do know what that is. And we are reworking it now, my mentor and I, and we're putting in, we're making it more of like um, a messenger, um, like a messenger guide, how to utilize messenger to connect with people. And there's going to be like a lot of different types of scripts. Obviously, scripts you want to put to your voice. It's just there as a guide. Um, but we're redoing the whole thing. So it's really, really, really exciting. I can't wait for that to come out because literally building a six figure business very quickly in my new network marketing company, utilizing one thing, messenger, building a brand and using messenger. That's it. Um, so I'm really, really excited to share all that with you. Okay guys, I got to hop off and get to the mall with my crazy boys. Please wish me luck. I cannot believe I'm doing this. The day after Christmas, going to the mall in seven degree weather, like, Shoot me now. <laughs> Trisha, what's up, girlfriend? How are you? All right, see y'all soon. Bye.